All right, round two here at Card Academy, playing against, uh, it's muted right now, you can unmute it by switching that. There we go. All right, playing against Michael. Yep. It's a fantastic name. My last game, I came back from being at 4 o'clock at level 3. They were at level 1 still, and in one turn, took them to level 3. <laughs> nice. Only to lose to time. <laughs> I, oh. lose, I lost to time. <laughs> she had a lot of heal and blocks. Yeah. So. I went... My match was going pretty swimmingly, but then I realized... Midway through level two, just all my climaxes were just gone. They would yep. I couldn't hit her. a single one. I kept drawing them where they would. Yep. Such is this game. But it was a fun game, though. Like, yep. I actually surprised I came back that quick. All right. Uh, I have the translations right here. All right. Oh, no. The mirror match. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. What is this? What are the odds of this? Two Michaels playing. <laughs> playing the same thing. Both playing Log Horizon. Right. All right, roll high. Two. Four. If I rolled a two, I would have <laughs> They would have been like, oh, man. Dropping one. Mm. I'll drop two. Okay. And I've only been playing... Say maybe half a month. Okay. So still fairly new to the game. No problem. Draw for turn. Hmm. Man, it's like this, huh? Clock. Draw one. Draw two. Level reverser. Direct. One, two. Two. One, two. So what does she do? She's a reverser yeah. that... Uh, level zero reverser. I believe she also has a rest of magic and gets 1k. Okay. Which I, like, never use. So my turn. Here go. For the turn. Going to clock for the turn. Uh, what does Shiro do? So put her out first. Uh, she basically has... The mill one and mill three. Yep. Mill one's mandatory, mill three is optional. That's okay. where I was looking for last time. Optional. Yep. Yeah. You said the last one's optional? Yeah. And you can do them whichever order you want. Okay. And you can even still do it if the mill one sends her to the stock. Okay. Um, so I'll obviously have to do the first one. So one, two, three. And we'll go ahead and mill the next one, which okay. is not a climax. Said is a reverser. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. If he's the center. Front row center gets plus 1k on opponent's turn. Yeah. Because it's a suicider, is basically what she does. It's pretty much what she does, right? If I reverse yeah. her, you reverse me. As long as you're level zero or lower. Perfect. Um. He basically has the ability, if you have three or fewer characters, he gives himself plus, plus 20, you have 2k. Yeah. So, frontal. Direct. Uh, four, two. One and two sticks. Uh, your turn. Right. Draw for turn. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm fairly new to Clock. Log Horizon. I normally I like play it. SAO. Sinon uh, is my favorite character. Maybe after this tourney we can play some casuals. I just like the idea of uh, Kai maxing her level 3 with a sniper bullet <coughs> that's called Phantom Bullet. Okay. Put him out there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna prime both abilities. I will mill one first, not a climax. Second one is optional. The mill three is optional? Yeah, the mill one is mandatory, mill three is okay. optional. Uh, I will not mill three. Right. I'll use his brainstorm, pay one. One, two, three, and four. Hit nothing. That'll do. Okay. And him. Go ahead yep. and. That's basically the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Identical. Oh my goodness, our fields are almost identical as well. Good boy. Alright. Direct. One, two, three. One. Cancel. Alright. Direct. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, you're go. Go for the turn. I'm going to. Go ahead and clock, draw two, then I level, put. Oh, that it matters so much in this case. Believe it's clock, level, then draw two. Clock, level, then, okay. Which again, what really doesn't really matter in this case, but you never know. Climax. Okay. The minus three happens. Then there shall the rest of the figure and pick the pair. It's 4K. 4, 2. There are lots of ways of playing around this. Okay, sorry. Alright. 1 and 2. So cancels. Alright, looks like I'm going to be stuck here for a while. And I'll be finished. Alright. No saving of him. Stand. Draw for turn. Clock, draw one, draw two. <laughs> Brainstorm. Two, three, and four. Hit nothing. Plus one red card to stock, plus one soul. Direct, one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ouch. Oof. All right, let's see if I can just keep pouring on this damage. Direct for three, three. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh. Level. It's kind of looking like my last game. <laughs> well, you can always get that comeback. So, my turn. Draw a card for the turn. Um. They're, they're getting the 
Um, if the effect says if I reverse it and put it under the library, would you still get her reverse effect? Yeah, both effects go off. Okay. Her there. But that's a level two, so it yep. doesn't matter. I was just curious on if I put a level zero there. That's why I moved him over here. Yeah. And then her effect, I think, when she comes into play, she gives... One other, another character, plus 1k, I believe. Yeah. When she's played from her hand, she's one character. Need the weapon or magic, give it plus 1500 power. Oh, 1500. Yeah. All right. I'll give that to him. Mm -hmm. Just because. And then climax. Uh, I'm not going to use the combo effect. Okay. No point. <laughs> so we'll go direct here first. For one, two, three, three. One, two, cancels. Cancel. Um, go for here. For one, two, three. One, two, and three sticks. That uh, should be a level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, <clears throat> level red. Red spillover. <coughs> Here. Front. For one, two, three. What? Cancels, Cancels on one. <laughs> okay. All right. Ooh, this could be an issue. All right. Draw for turn. Okay, great. Clock. One and two. Level one reverser. Okay. Probably shouldn't. Well, whatever. All right. And actually, I don't need to. Eight. Climax is in waiting room. Uh, climax in waiting room are one, two, three, four, five. Five. All right. Let's just keep pushing. 1K1. Front for two. 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 One, two. Front. Oh, how big was that? Oh, he is at four, five, five. If I have four more cards in hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. No problem. All right. And then no, he was at six five. All right. This is for four five. Front for one two, three. One two three. Level two. I can afford it. Front small for one two. Two. Uh, you reversed her for sure. For two. One, two. Oh man, this is rough times, man. Yep. It's looking like last game. Uh, let's go with. Doubling there. Okay. And since he reverses, go ahead, then deck. Clock on four. Okay. Uh, both of these reverse, I'll let him slide. Fresh. Draw.
So if he rests himself, when once he says, you re- when you reverse a character, rest, pay one, rest him, and then he gives the character who reversed minus two soul across from it. Okay. Mm. Uh, but you have to pay the two for playing him. Yeah, we'll put him up front. So two. Okay. Uh, Never mind, he's five five right now. Sliding back to the back row again instead. It seems like a better play. <laughs> uh, we'll swap her over here. Keep her there. And um, refresh my memory how the brainstorm works again. Uh, brainstorm, rest him, pay one. And then mill top four cards of your deck. They go to resolution zone. One, two, two three, three, four. All right. For every climax you hit, draw one card. All right. And they go to waiting room. And then refresh. Yep. And they go to. They technically go to waiting room before you do your draw card. Okay. So go to the waiting room. Then. Yeah. Basically, they're in. They're in resolution area when you're flipping them out. Then they go from there to waiting room. Then and draw then. A card. So the only time it really comes into play is if you only have four cards left in your deck. You mill out those four, they stay there, refresh, then or become you your, your waiting room. Okay. That way salvage, uh, salvage climax, or salvage brainstorms have something to salvage. Right. Refresh point. And then I will... Clock for the turn. Uh, wait, when? I, know, I haven't clocked yet on my level three. Okay. That, you m- technically miss your clock um, So you clock step. before you, you do with anything? Clock step comes right after draw step. Oh, that's fine. I can. Okay. Yeah, if it was casual, I'd let you roll that. Yeah. Well, no, it's we're too far to roll it back at this yeah, point. Because yeah, we're too, too ahead into the level three area. Uh, so we'll do, um, yep, I'll have to do it. Oh, I don't have the tuning work. The yeah. brainstorm. We'll just climax then. Climax. And we'll go here with her. Uh, it's 1,000, one soul. Four, two. Two. One and two. Sticks. Reverse. I'm going to eventually learn this game. <laughs> uh, that's no problem. Though if you want to use his ability, now is the timing for it. Uh, this one? Yeah. So how does that work then? It's just uh, she reversed. So you pay one, rest him, give her the character across him. It gets minus two soul. Okay, so we'll do that. And then just pay one. Mm-hmm. And then here we'll go for a crash mm-hmm. for one two. One cancels on one. Right. Um. Okay. And. I cannot clock on core last card of the. Uh, I cannot. Yeah, can't clock. Ugh, cannot clock on core when there's only one card left in uh, the deck. Yeah. Okay. All right, have you already run into that before? Uh, no. Okay. That's the first time. All right. Because once I do that, technically when you on, on during encore step, cards go to the waiting room, then you encore them back. If he's in the waiting room and then yeah, I clock then you that, he becomes. First. Yeah. Okay. So he's just gonna die, and we'll roll with that. Alright, draw for turn, deck out. Yeah, I kind of, I learned the combo with her really early on because it was really self-explanatory. Mm-hmm. Need to get better use on brainstorming because I was like watching your brainstorm use compared to mine, so I was like, I need to brainstorm more. Oh, I brainstorm like a madman with this deck. I think that's what I'm supposed to do with this one because I'm trying to, I need to, because like you got into your combo really quick. So. With time, I'll get better. Six. Okay. All right. So I drew. Gonna go ahead now. Clock. Level blue. Draw one. Draw two. All right. 
Rest him, pay one, brainstorm. Hit one, draw one. Okay. Comes into play, pay one, drop one, search. So she's like a toolbox. Hmm? I said, so she's like a toolbox. I get, is that a is that a term from another TCG? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, toolbox is just basically a card that gives the ability to go into your deck and pull a card out. Um, I'm not sure like what Weiss would call that. I just call it a searcher. Okay. I've used I, I've heard many different terms for it: hunter, searcher, right. toolbox. Grab that. Okay. Just roll with it. 1k1. Front. 1, 2. 2. Cancel. Okay. Since that canceled, do this one next. For 3. 3. Cancel. That's uh, not a good sign. <laughs> Alright. She's at minus 2 soul. So I'm going to front for 0. Trigger. For 2. Cancel. What the? I don't want all my climaxes in there. Well, that's a thing. Okay. Means I'm out of climaxes now when the next assault comes. Okay. Here we go. So draw for the turn. Clock. Could be bad. Now they're now that's a new turn, so they don't shoot. Now they're just level three bodies, and she can get bigger from here because it's right in front of her. Did this one attack last turn? Yeah, she's sorry. Okay. Uh, two. That was my fault. <laughs> no, I should have I should have picked up on that. Um. Then that would have been a direct. Oh, whatever. That was my fault for not picking up on it at the time. Because I crashed her. Is what happened? Yes. Um. So three or fewer cards. If that was the case, I'd be with zero and climax combo. Mm -hmm. yeah. She gets huge. So on the heal effect, is that mandatory? Uh, when she comes into play, she heals. Okay. So and is it from the top? Yeah. Right. And it just goes waiting room. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then then I would play the climax. Yeah. Right. The uh, future. Climax. Just remember to do it when you play it. Uh, Climax is when she reverses an opponent. She gets she gets four thousand power right now. If she reverses somebody, burn I can one. burn shoot you for a point. Um, so we'll start with her first. Uh, so for one, two, three, three. One, two, and three cancels. Okay. And then Reverse. Shoot for one. Burn. Um, kind of swing for here. Yeah. For one, two, two. Right. One and two cancels. Reverse. And then uh, then this is level one or lower yeah, reverse. So reverse or two. Uh, and then here. For one, two, three, four. Alright. One, two, three, and four. Cancels. Dang. Well. I did zero damage. Except, well, <laughs> I did one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not going to get to do any of my shenanigans. So All right. he's gone. So go ahead, let that go. I'm so far behind. Alright, go ahead. Clock on core him. Good thing I searched. So is it a good thing to always brainstorm whenever you have a chance? Um, it just depends on what you're going for. I like to... After the game, I'll tell you more, okay. but yeah. I like I to brainstorm. You don't have too much time. <laughs> Draw. 
clock. One and two. Okay. Climax is in the waiting room. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's get this out of there. Um, rest. Pay that one. Oops. Two. Three. Deck out. And then you would refresh. And mm -hmm. okay. Complete brainstorm. Then refresh point. So you finish the brainstorm effect because it's what's on the table right now. Mm -hmm. uh, pass cut. Okay, completing brainstorm. The fourth. Hit one. Draw one. Refresh point. Last. Okay. Okay. All right, living dangerously. Okay. This is a terrible move. Don't learn from me. <laughs> Plus one red to stock. Plus one soul. Uh, okay. She's getting advantage of his ability too. Huh? Right? Uh, she's taking advantage of his assist right now. Did you rest and pay it? Uh, it's just his continuous assist. Yeah, but you have to do it every turn. The the assist. Oh, the assist. Okay, yeah. I thought you said the ability. No, yeah, no, 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 she's huge. Yeah, that's no problem. All right. Direct, or I mean front rather, for two, three. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, not good. Okay, so I need to stick four more. I should have saved that one. Oh, I would have been sided for nothing. All right, let's see. You canceled a bunch, so. Direct, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Oh my goodness. Ah. I had the seventh right there. Okay. Or six, so that means there's two in there somewhere. All right. Good game, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that could have gone somewhat poorly because I ended up with uh, two in hand, climax in hand, one on field, and two now in stock. So I would have okay. been out four or five. So there only would have been three left in this. Yeah. So That's you could have slapped me for some damage. Cool All right. Yep. I'm still trying to like learn how to make everything work with this. Yeah. No, like what you were asking earlier about uh, the brainstorms. I do brainstorm a lot, mostly because I'm one in, I want to try to keep my um, stock clean. So like I did last turn, I remembered I had a uh, climax in there, so okay. pay that out, brainstorm. Then for everyone that I hit, I get value by adding to my hand okay. size. And hand size is pretty important for at least my version of the deck. Yeah. All right, gonna go ahead yeah, and stop. Like, yeah, because like the, the big thing I'm trying to learn with these is uh, how to combo something with one what works better over the other. Yeah. Like, just, like, I know how to, like, use her. It's, like, when, like, it's mostly my level one and two is what I'm trying to learn right now. Yeah. Like, my level zero is pretty self-explanatory. How many of, uh, this guy do you have? Uh, zero. In the deck. Ah, okay. So, like, what is, what's he, uh, mean? Uh, he gets the, if I, if you, if I have four more cards in hand, he gets plus 1,500 power and he's clock on core. So he doesn't require a lot of resources to keep out there. Just take okay. a damage, and you have a Kotsky's in your level 3 to heal that back. And so would you um, say it would probably be better than my level 1 version right now? Uh, is this from the TD? Yeah. I don't know what that does. Um, 
I have these color coded. <laughs> she does. If I have three or more characters with weapon or magic, she gets fifteen hundred. Yeah, definitely, it'd be the better bet. This one gets more power, but this one you just uh, power you doesn't matter. Field, it, yeah, he just stays out there. Okay. And I also have a bunch of. Uh, so what's your feeling on? If I can find her. What's your feeling on that combo there? I was running it for a little bit. I dropped it in favor of the, uh, well, in my second Log Horizon deck I was running it. Um, I just never really got much play out of it. I mean, the power boost against everything is nice. And sometimes being able to, I think you bottom deck, so that forces, that means... The only time I found it super useful was when I knew my opponent was close to refresh. If I was forcing cards at the bottom of their deck, that means that, say I put two cards at the bottom of their deck, then my fourth card, say if I'm playing a Climax, can attack in, I know that two is guaranteed, and then they'll take the refresh, so that guarantees three damage. But it also means that if they had a Climax on the bottom of their deck, you're going to push it out and make it get back into their, uh, their waiting refresh. Okay. So... I didn't get much value. I didn't get much play out of it. Do you have the? Um, can you do the uh, the red um, Mario combo? Did you want me to mute this thing? We're still recording right now. Just oh, doing okay. the talk. If you want. Uh, you said the Mario combo. Is the one that, that actually the... combos with this one. Uh, I have those. Just I, they're not in here though. But okay. I do have that. I'm testing that out in my second uh, Log Horizon deck. I think I can get more value off of that. Because um, like, do you play her at all? Uh, in that deck, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, like, what I have mine kind of based around is, like, um, using her abilities to basically flood in kind of the waiting room with the mill. Mm -hmm. That way, when I have to use the backup, I can always get my climaxes back into my deck. Mm -hmm. What? I never got a hold of her, hence yeah. the no getting climaxes back in there. That one actually does work really well with, uh, do you have Natsuku? Yeah, you have Natsuku in there. Mm -hmm. Because he... He forces front attacks, so you can always counter. And him, because you weren't really playing burn, kind of really didn't get the big effect. I think I was using it more for the yeah. saving myself from the extra damage. Yeah, I think he's really good in the current meta because so many decks rely on burn. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording now. Report in.